I've always said that shoes maketh the outfit. So before you go out buying some of the fab new footwear trends on offer this year, you may want to take a look at this video. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now, swapping out your shoes can really give any outfit a bit of a modern look and feel. It's always been a bit of a stylist secret to update an outfit quickly and easily. You just swap out the shoes. Now, I am all here for that, but you can sometimes fall into the trap of buying shoes that are on trend, but for that reason, often they don't last the distance. They tend to be one season wonders. So in today's episode, I'm sharing a whole lot of fab footwear trends that we can see or expect to see this year. For those of you that are okay with spending and buying something new because it's on trend, that is great. There'll be options here for you. But for those of you like me that like to get a little bit more longevity out of your footwear, then I'm going to offer up some swaps that are still modern and still fashionable, but the swaps are going to last a whole lot longer in terms of just looking and feeling modern for longer without kind of quickly looking outdated. So this video really is going to offer something for everyone, whether you like to wear the latest and greatest and you're happy with wearing them for a season, or if like me, you like a little bit more longevity. Now, first up, slouchy boots are making a comeback. Now, I'll put up some pictures here so you know exactly what I mean. And while I don't dislike slouchy boots, you know, they give a real sort of boho, free people kind of style. If that's your vibe, that is great. There are going to be plenty of slouchy options available for you. But what I often find with these boots is that they do tend to date really quickly. And I've seen plenty that just tend to look a little bit sloppy. They work well if you do have that sort of real boho styling going on and that's your look, but they can tend to quite quickly just look a little bit unkept. So what I do suggest swapping them out for is a boot with a mini heel. Now these mini heel boots are also trending, so they're very much in fashion this year. But in my opinion, they are more wearable and they definitely have more longevity. So they're not a kitten heel because I know a lot of you are a little bit funny about kitten heels and they're not a high heel. So they're somewhere in between. And for that reason, you get the comfort factor, you get the style of wearing a slightly longer boot. So I'm not necessarily talking about ankle boots, although they do come in ankle boot styles but it's really just that sort of mini heel, that height of the heel that's somewhere in between that just gives a really comfortable, dare I say, practical option. And a lot of these mini heels are very classic style boots. So anything that's a little bit pared back and more classic is going to give you the option of wearing it season after season and not looking out of date. So that's why, in my opinion, I would be swapping out a slouchy boot for one of these really cool mini heeled boots. But of course, if you're a slouchy boot fan, then go for it. There are gonna be plenty around. Now next up, I'm sure I'm gonna come under fire for this one because I talked about slip-on Ugg boots and little fur booties in a recent video. And a lot of you said in the comments that Yes, you may like them, but they're not practical, especially to wear outside. Now, I definitely agree with that. I love them. I would have no problem wearing them outside, but obviously it depends on the climate that you live in and they're not gonna be great for wet weather. But what I am suggesting, if that actually applies to you, is swapping them out for what is also a shoe that is super on trend at the moment, and that is a slip-on clog. Now, not necessarily a wooden clog, but something like a classic Birkenstock, a clog slip-on style Birkenstock, or what I have just ordered, and unfortunately they haven't arrived yet, so I can't show them to you in real life in this video, but I met a girl on the flight back from the US recently, and she was wearing these Doc Martin style clogs. Now, I particularly love them because they were a little bit different to the Burks, which everyone seems to be wearing. So it kind of gives you a little bit of something new and fresh, but also they have that classic Doc Martin heel, which for me is just really durable and 
definitely I think a better option for winter weather especially if it's wet outside or snowing so these style clogs in my opinion are a really good swap out for those fluffy Uggs now there are lots of clog options about lots of different fabrics and styles and textures some serious kind of wet weather styles as well but I do think that they are potentially more of a practical durable option and at this point I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Jenny Kane for sponsoring this portion of today's episode now I'm sure if you've been watching me and following me here for a while you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the brand Jenny Kane I have a couple of their pieces this beautiful cashmere cardi is one of them every time I wear a Jenny Kane piece I get comments on it the great thing about this brand too, if you haven't heard of them before, is that they create beautiful, luxurious quality pieces that stand the test of time. Now, if you know me, you will know that I love fashion, but it does have to be practical and not just last for a season. So the Jenny Kane pieces that I own are just absolute quality. The other thing that I like about the brand, which I don't know whether I've talked about before, is that all of the pieces are so intentionally designed and created and they all work well together. So you don't have to think hard about putting together an outfit. They all really do just intermix and interweave together. So creating outfits out of Jenny Kane pieces is super easy. I've got my heart set on a beautiful mohair sweater that is just out the gate gorgeous and I do have a few other pieces on my wish list. Oh also before I forget the team is giving you a 15% discount off your first order at Jenny Kane. Now all you need to do to take advantage of, of that discount code is simply of that discount I should say not the code I'll tell you the code the code is style insider and you just pop that in at checkout and you can get 15% off your first order what I also should mention too is that Jenny Kane does some amazing homewares as well so they create beautiful furniture lifestyle pieces beautiful soft furnishings think throws and cushions and rugs and there really is something for everywhere so for everyone so definitely go and check out Jenny Kane and as I said they're offering that discount which is to say 15% off your first order using my code style insider so what I suggest is to whip on over to Jenny Kane which is jennykane.com that's j-e-n-n-i k-a-y-n-e dot com take a look at what they have to offer I'm sure you will fall in love with the brand as much as I have and let me know in the comments what is your favorite piece from the latest Jenny Kane collection I know I've got a few favorites but I would love to hear what yours are but anyway thank you to Jenny Kane for sponsoring this portion of today's episode now let's get back to talking shoes now this may well be an unpopular opinion but I'm suggesting swapping out your high heels for kitten heels especially in winter I think kitten heels are just a height that's far more practical but you don't lose that femininity with them they are still really stylish really feminine and you get that kind of similar vibe but you get a shoe that is far more practical and I do think kitten heels are far more timeless than high heels I don't know whether you guys have noticed and let me know in the comments below there seems to be a kind of move away from high heels now I'm all here for it I love to be comfortable you know that I love practical fashion and I I'm just not prepared to sacrifice comfort for style anymore let me know if you guys are the same or if I'm just being old and boring but I definitely would recommend swapping out those killer high heels for more of a kitten heel shoe they are everywhere at the moment I would probably go as far as saying they are the most popular style of shoe and one of the reasons I love kitten heels too is that they often tend to have that sort of pointy toe at the moment which work back really beautifully with your wide leg trousers but they also work back with more of a cigarette style pant or a kind of a cropped capri style pant 
they're such a versatile shoe but as I said still look feminine and modern and stylish so swap them out but of course if you love your high heels then you do you boo and keep wearing them now what I've seen a lot of lately are more sort of slimline loafers now what I am suggesting that we swap these out for is more of a platform style loafer if I'm thinking about a, a style of shoe that is more classic and that will give you a little more versatility with creating different style outfits, I would definitely suggest more of a platform, simple classic loafer over more of the the kind of finer slimline loafers. Now the finer ones seem to have, or certainly what I've seen, they seem to have more buckle detailing or chain detailing across the front of them. And this kind of hardware can often date a shoe, but it can also cheapen a shoe. And I have seen plenty of brands that are definitely more high-end brands that still look a little bit cheaper because of this hardware. So what I would definitely say is swap them out for more of a classic platform loafer with no hardware detailing at all so just a very simple style with a little bit more of a chunky sole they don't have to be super chunky but just something with a little bit more weight to them and then as i said that creates or will certainly help you create more options when it comes to outfits sort of more preppy style outfits and more street style kind of rugged think cargo kind of pants style outfits so these slightly chunkier options in my opinion have more more bang for your buck and are going to be more wearable and they're just a better option now i think we probably all know this one but there are still lots of chunky not quite dad style sneakers about but there are still some chunky sneakers about and i would suggest swapping them out for more of a slimline sneaker now i'm sure a lot of you and i've certainly heard from a lot of you that you are tired of seeing the Adidas Sambas. I own them in black and white and love them, but I get the fact that they have been overexposed and it's easy to get tired of them. But what I have seen are some really beautiful, colorful, slimline sneakers. Obviously, some of them are Adidas, there are some Puma, there are some different options available out there in different styles and brands, but the slimmer line in my opinion definitely does give you some really good outfit options as well and it's not too glaringly obvious the chunkier style sneakers do tend to kind of give off that dad style sneaker vibe which isn't happening as much as i said you will see them available but slimline if you are looking for more of a, a modern looking outfit then slimline in my opinion is the way to go and I also think the slimline is an easier style to team with skirts and dresses if that is a look that you're perhaps trying to dip your toe in but you're struggling with that sort of sneaker with skirts and dresses look a slimline sneaker is definitely going to be an easier way to sort of ease yourself into that style. Oh, and I should say too, thank you for all the lovely comments about my doggies in the last episode. Now they often are sleeping in the background here. I have two greyhounds, which I absolutely love. And I've also got a new little, a new little addition to our family. Let's see if I can wake him up he's been so good sleeping over here and just quickly introduce you this is bailey he is oh he's seen something down there he is 14 weeks old and he is a labrador crossed with a golden retriever and he is the smoochiest i think most handsome little boy ever and he is fitting in here like an absolute dream. He's just such a little chilled out dude and he's only been here with us for a week, but we've all already fallen in love with him. There's a bit of a long story as to how he came to live with us, um, but let me know if you would like to hear that. I'm looking at doing a little bit of a story time video coming up soon, um, but if you would like to hear the backstory as to how I ended up with three dogs in the house now um, and this gorgeous little dude, then yeah. Oh, I think I'm putting him to sleep. 
Just let me know in the comments below if you would like to hear the full Bailey story. Oh, what are you saying about that? Anyway, meet Bailey and if you see him rolling around and moseying around, oh, he's loving my Jenny Kane sweater too. If you see him creeping around in the background, you will know who he is and what he's doing. Oh, I think he's just dropped off again. My heart. Now, one of the biggest shoe trends this year is a one toe, peep toe style shoe. Now, I will flick up some pictures here so you see what I'm talking about. But I would suggest, look, if you love this style, great, go for it. But I would suggest swapping this out for just a classic flip-flop. Now, there are plenty of these flip-flops available at the moment. I not just necessarily meaning a kind of a rubber style flip-flop, which is your sort of beach essential, but there are some lovely platform flip-flops available. There are some that I've seen with a little mini heel. This is, in my mind, more of a classic style that you will be able to pull out season after season and it will still give you options with your outfits. It will still give you that wearability without being so attached to a particular time and trend. I think we will remember or certainly know that the one toe peep toe is very much a sort of early 2024 look. So great if you want to wear it and love it now and this year, and certainly as spring arrives, you'll be seeing more of them. But if you want more wearability and you want a shoe that's going to be able to serve you for many seasons to come, then I would definitely opt for more of a straight flip-flop instead. Now, one trend that has been really big for at least a year now and is continuing on in 2024 is metallic shoes. In, in particular, silver metallic loafers, ankle boots, over the knee boots, silver and gold metallic as well has been having a real moment. Now, I love metallics, don't get me wrong. I think that they can definitely be treated as a neutral, but if you want that more sort of bang for your buck and you want to be able to pull them out time and time and season after season, then I would definitely consider swapping out a metallic for a snake skin or a kind of a mock skin type shoe. Now these are also very much a neutral and I would go as far as saying that a mock skin or a faux skin type shoe is going to give you even more versatility than a metallic. I think metallics can be sometimes a little jarring. They can be sometimes a little harsh, almost as harsh as wearing a black shoe with an outfit. Whereas a snakeskin print really is always in fashion. I mean, you could argue and say that a metallic is as well, but I think that the snakeskin print is definitely more, it's more of a neutral. It's easier to pair with all sorts of different outfits. It's easy to pair with prints and it's just not quite as jarring as a metallic. But I like both. I will keep my metallics. I'll still wear both. But if you are on the fence and not sure which one to buy, I would definitely go for a snakeskin every time. Now, when we're talking about boots, if you want to give your boots a little bit of a modern update, I would definitely opt for more of a pointy toe style, slightly finer boot. And I would be swapping them out for the Chelsea sort of chunky platform boots that most of us have been wearing for the last few seasons. Now I've got a pair, I love them and will hold on to them, but to give some of my same outfits a little bit more of a modern look and feel, I'll be swapping them out for more of a pointy toe, kind of mid heel style boot. Now. These also work with like a cowboy style boot. There are lots and lots of cowboy style boots on offer. Some are plain, so if you don't like all of that sort of stitching detail of a traditional cowboy boot, you can go for the shape of a cowboy with more of a plain sort of look and feel. But that's the kind of easy swap out that's going to update a lot of the outfits that you wore last season perhaps and you teamed with your chunky Chelsea's. 
it's going to give you another option but also just give you a little bit of a modern edge as well but hold on to those chelsea's if you've got them like me because they are going to be a boot that is always really wearable now this year another huge footwear trend is white shoes so white sandals loafers boots you name it white is having a huge moment and I've got a pair of white boots that I love and wear, but I do find white to be also quite jarring. It sort of falls into that metallic camp for me. So one of the styles that I would, or one of the looks that I would change or swap out a white shoe for would be more of a classic neutral. So a tan leather or even a sort of a chocolatey brown. I do think that some of the kind of toned back earthy neutrals can definitely give you far more options than say a classic white now white is always going to make a statement and it is always going to give you that kind of wow factor to an outfit which as i said i personally enjoy that but if it is either or i would definitely tend to err on the side of going for something that's just that little bit more earthy because it is a timeless color so a timeless looking shoe in an earthy tone will serve you longer than a white shoe and now you know all the key footwear trends heading our way this year you might want to know about the fashion that is happening to go with those shoes if you do simply click or tap on the screen here and i'll see you there